Hi, this is Rick Tharp for Arx Kinetics. Uh, to give you a quick run through of some of the changes in the latest version of Kinetics. So let's log in and take a look. First thing you notice, nice clean startup screen with just three, with an input area and two buttons. So we just have three things here to look at. Uh, an input area, a toggle button here, and an MRU list. So right now it's set up to search by MRN. We can click here if we want to search by name. And we can just type in the first few letters of their last name. And it'll come up with searches. If you know their exact name, it will pull that record up exactly without having to go through a list. Um, otherwise, you would type in uh, just go over here, scroll through, press enter to pull the record up. Uh, to get a list of all patients, leave this search field blank, press the enter key, bring up a list of all patients in the database. Uh, you'll notice on the patient data screen there's just four buttons. Close record edit the record, save the edits, or cancel edits. Let's close that record and go back and look at our the other button that's on this screen, which is a uh, most recently used abbreviated MRU, or just a list of the most re recent records you've accessed. Click that, and um, those are the records that we've just looked at since we've logged on. So it's a quick way of going back and, and looking at a patient. <clears throat> you want to want to relook at some things. Um, let's go ahead and do some dosing. See what changes are are there. Um, here's our ideal dose: 635 every 20. Yeah. I wonder what a gram every 24 looks like. Ah, that gets us in the range, 15 to 20, target range. Um, let's look at a graph. And one thing that's new here are some buttons that allow you to adjust the X and Y axis. So you can uh, zoom in on the, the uh, serum level graph. Um, uh, Maybe get a closer look at a certain point along the dosing interval. So there we go. That's that. <clears throat> All right. Uh, other changes are uh, involving the print printing of the consult. If you want to preview the consult, you go through the menu, print consult form, and we'll get our concert dragged over here and you can look at it and then print it here with the print icon or if you want to print it directly you could just click on the print icon on the toolbar click consult form and then you'll get your print dialog where you can select where you print to etc direct print no preview uh, another th new thing that's been added is um, a copy of the consult to the clipboard. So you right click on the print icon and that consult text is then copied to the Windows clipboard and then you can post that, post your consult into uh, the electronic medical record with using the Windows shortcut which is Control V. It's a Windows uh, standard paste command. Uh, there's a couple new tools. One of them is the evaluate dose by weight. Uh, it breaks it down by dosing weight, total weight, per dose, and per day. Uh, the other tool is the uh, another new tool is the levels scheduler. Uh, so you would enter a starting date and time. And it's going to show you the asterisk here indicates 
that's when steady state will be reached. Uh, so it will automatically pull that up as the dose to when to draw the level. You can select whether you want to draw off or a peak and draw off or a random. And then you can print a um, lab data collection form if you need to do that. But the main but the main thing here is you can tell when steady state is reached, so you can schedule your levels. Okay, let's go ahead and close that record. Go back and that takes us right back to our search screen. Uh, one thing you'll notice is there's no add button here. You cannot add a new patient until you've actually searched for one. So there is the add button. If your patient isn't listed, you can you, now you can add them. This is to help cut down on duplicate entries. So let's go ahead and run through adding a new patient. Uh, in this case, we've got John Smith, good old Dr. Jones. Um, he's located on uh, East 456. He was born in the 50s. And he, here's remember the right click trick where you can right click to enter the uh, height or weight uh, by the alternate method if you have inches. Right click for inches, right click for pounds. John's a big guy. His serum creatinine is such and such, drawn yesterday. Don't forget to click on the gender. And now we can click save to save that record. And again, we can go through our dosing. Okay, let's exit out of that record. Uh, those are the highlights of the uh, changes to the patient input side of it. Uh, let's look at some of the uh, changes in the setup. <clears throat> let's click setup, enter our password, pull up the setup dialog. One thing you'll notice is some new uh, adjustments here for serum creatinine. Uh, you can choose to have a minimum serum creatinine to be used in your creatinine clearance equation. You can also um, use some parameters here to adjust the serum creatinine if, if your lab is switched to the IDMS method and you want to correlate that to the older method, uh, the traditional serum creatinine methods. Usually when your lab changes over, they have to do a uh, regression analysis and you'll get this equation from them. Uh, because as you know, uh, IDMS uh, creatinine is, is quite a bit lower, significantly lower than traditional creatinines. And so you're going to uh, be potentially um, overestimating creatinine clearance. So you really need to, to make some adjustments if your lab has switched to IDMS. Uh, the other change uh, is uh, in the monitoring form, and uh, uh, we can now have the option of using a word template. So um, let's look at the help file and, and go through that a little bit. Um, The, the program comes with a, a template um, or you can use your own you can modify the one that comes with the program you can use one that you already have uh, but all, all it, it's just saved here this is the this is the name of the the form it's gonna the program's gonna look for blank underscore pK monitor dot doc that's the monitoring form it's gonna look for if you have a monitoring form save it 
into the same folder as your database and giving it that name. What the program is going to automatically do is search and replace the following fields that are in that doc. So you can put your you can search and replace for your hospital name, search and replace for the drug name, patient name, room, medical record number, age, sex, height, weight, etc. And then it'll then you can print an individualized monitoring form pre-filled out so all you have to do is uh, keep it in your file and follow it daily. I think those are the main highlights of the changes that in, in this update. Version 2.3.3 some nice um, improvements. I hope you like them. Thank you.